Hi, we're here to introduce you to the Canadian chapter of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative, CEFI. I'm Corinne Bodner. And I'm Karina Ferkowski. Along with marie Jose Fortin, we started CEFI to address the disconnect that we often see between the priorities of academia and government regarding what to forecast and how to do it. Just to give you a brief history into how CEFI came about, last summer we hosted a symposium at the Canadian Society of Ecology and Evolution to begin a conversation regarding forecasting in Canada. Our speakers were scientists in academia addressing policy questions, as well as scientists at the government level itself. We focused specifically on how prediction can be used as a conservation strategy. We saw the opportunity to continue the conversation. And so in the fall, we established a working group with funding from the Canadian Institute of Ecology and Evolution to summarize the state of applied ecological forecasting in Canada and how to best optimize it. Additionally, since Canada lacks a large scale coordinated effort, we started a network to connect the widespread interest in applied ecological forecasting. We look largely to EFI as an example, and in true collaborative style, they took us on as their first international chapter. And we are not alone. The NSERC CREATE and the Canadian-headed Gordon Research Conference on Ecological Prediction are also pushing for more large-scale quantitative initiatives. The CEFI network is envisioned as a platform that brings researchers together to better predict in the Anthropocene. And you can find us online on our website. Our mission is to create a network of collaborators across various institutions with the objectives to increase data collection and sharing, build technical skills, and inform key policy areas, even in an uncertain future. Through CEFI's website, we provided a link to EFI's resources to allow our members to easily access all of their materials. Even though we're brand new, people from a variety of universities and organizations have already shown interest and signed up for the network. This demonstrates the need for and value placed on reliable forecasting in Canada. We encourage both Canadian and international collaborators to sign up. We emphasize that while our efforts are focused primarily in Canada, many of the environmental issues we face have no borders. Similarly, at the policy level, while government structure may vary between countries, we can learn a lot from each other on how to bridge science and policy. We hope to hear from you and encourage all of you to reach out if you're interested in engaging with us. Thank you for listening.